RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification, a technology that allows for the discrete wireless detection of products, objects, animals, and humans. RFID systems consist of three major components, the readers, the tags, and a database. RFID tags carry a small chip. The chip is powered by radio waves that are generated by the RFID reader and picked up by a tag's antenna. The RFID tag can store data ranging in quantity from 64 bits to thousands of bytes. The RFID reader detects any tag within its range and can read and write to the chip's memory. This interaction is conveniently uploaded into the RFID database. An RFID tag is like a little electronic notepad attached to an object, which nearby readers can read and write to. The first cited use of RFID technology was by the British Royal Air Force for identification of friendly planes during World War II. Bulky radio tags were implemented in the 1960s to trace wildlife for research purposes. In the last two decades, however, electronic miniaturization has made passive RFID technology possible and increasingly inexpensive. Passive RFID tags require no battery and can now be produced in massive quantities for 30 cents or less per tag. Although wildlife was the initial target, tracking has progressed to include livestock, pets, cars and trains, prisoners, packaged products, school children, and Mexican government officials. In October 2004, the FDA approved implantable RFID tags for injection into humans within the United States. In July 2005, Tommy Thompson, a former U.S. government official, now board member of a leading RFID company, announced his intentions to be tagged. In January 2005, the United States Department of Defense and Walmart, two of the largest organizations in the world, adopted a common RFID standard, providing the imperative to create large-scale infrastructures for RFID tracking and surveillance. Since January 2005, many businesses and organizations have joined Walmart and the Department of Defense in embracing RFID technology. The commercial sector is attracted to this technology for several reasons. RFID increases efficiency and speeds up the supply chain. RFID increases product visibility so no parts go missing and shelves don't sit empty. RFID enables authentication, letting consumers know that they're getting what they paid for. And RFID promises safety and security. In other words, RFID allows for fewer employees, lower prices, and higher profits. Preemptive media thinks there is more to the RFID story. RFID eliminates anonymity. Tags and identification cards, such as passports or student IDs, carry sensitive personal information. They can be read at a distance to reveal a person's nationality, the medications they take, or the literature they read. RFID increases data collection. Businesses and government already collect a lot of personal information, and RFID technology makes data collection even easier, faster, and more pervasive. In 2004, Walmart disclosed that it owns 460 terabytes of consumer data, more than two times as much data as the entire Internet. RFID institutionalizes surveillance. RFIDs generate a large amount of data that can be used to track people's movements and behaviors without their knowledge or consent. Indiscriminate use of RFID encourages data surveillance, making this the norm rather than the exception. 
In the United States, where there are currently no data privacy laws, the mass deployment of RFID encourages free and unrestricted data exchange. Here are two true stories about how personal information can be accessed and shared through a series of unlikely exchanges. Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor starts a birthday club and gives free ice cream to kids on their birthdays. Unbeknownst to these kids, Farrell sells the birthday club data to a list broker. The list broker sells the names of all birthday club boys to the U.S. Selective Service. The U.S. Selective Service then sends the boys a friendly letter on their 18th birthdays, reminding them to register for the draft. Not as much fun as eating free ice cream. A man moves from upstate New York to New York City for a summer job. After arriving, the man buys an electronic toll tag for his new commute. The company sells the man's travel information to his car insurance company. The man's car insurance quadruples as a result. Preemptive Media has developed a useful kit that helps people assess their own RFID situation. The kit includes a zapped workbook, brush up on how RFID works and where it is being used, zapped RFID scout buttons, let your friends know you are a person to ask about RFID, a zapped keychain, this device has been altered in such a way that it rings in the presence of an RFID reader. A carrier can know if he or she is currently at risk of being zapped. Carrying this with you is currently the only method of self-defense against this hidden surveillance system. RFID Zone Warning Stickers. Sticker the area with warning labels when your keychain rings. Zapped Maps. Keep track of where RFID readers are and when they proliferate. RFID Tags. Customize RFID tags in order to insert your personal message into an RFID database. Use this form of resistance whenever and wherever you think RFID creep has gone too far. For those hard to reach places, Preemptive Media has designed zapped roaches, also known as the Madagascan jam and hissing roaches. These friendly creatures carry a reprogrammed RFID tag on their back which has been carefully attached in order to allow for free movement and animal-friendly treatment. Sleeping during the day and hunting at night, the Madagascan jam and hissing roach makes an ideal partner for human-induced RFID jamming. Reprogramming a zapped roach tag with a new product code could confuse the database into thinking that baby socks are on the loose late at night. After putting on appropriate roach release attire, place your roach into the lunchbox. Other objects such as coffee cups may also be used as animal-friendly camouflage delivery devices. your chosen destination and head towards the offensive reading zone. Set down your delivery container and discreetly open it. 